This man, Blake BKR, BKR. has a very, very interesting story. I, like, I'm, I know I'm gonna get emotional hearing it. And that I do, I went from this normal YouTube vlogger who was just filling his brother's truck with 50 plus pineapples. What the f you know, getting a pineapple tattooed on me. How's it feel? It. Oh, it feels great. To teaching my grandmother how to dab. Ready? Oh, you go like this. Boom. Yeah. To bring that dab to the skies. Then you messing with the team. Then you messing with the squad. Hosting my own potential TV show. Hey, and welcome to another episode of AM Boulevard. Having casual meetings with Forrest Whitaker. Hey, pick him in. Yeah. Let me know, okay? Yeah. Interviewing movie stars like Kevin Sorbo and Sam Sorbo. Wonderful Hello. stuff, guys. All right, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Somehow judging a Miss Hawaii pageant. This is a practice pageant for the real pageant. And they're in our penthouse doing the pageant. Right. And I somehow got dragged into, well, I kind of volunteered for it to be a judge. He was me. the first person to volunteer yeah. for it. Flying out the country for the first time and being front row at the Miss USSR pageant. And dancing on the stage with my boy Damon at the Miss USSR pageant. <laughs> Attending a charity gala in London with uh, prince, princesses, the royal families. Okay, right now I'm all decked out. As you see, we're meeting the Prince of Jordan. Witnessing and being a part of Gary Stretch winning the number one documentary at a film festival. <laughs> Mike, we love you. I love you guys. Blake, you know Blake, you've been adopted by England. It's gonna be on every movie we make, Blake. To being a part who I think is gonna be our future governor's video campaign? That's that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. I already pictured the whole video too. <laughs> Capturing behind the scenes of what I think is gonna be the next We Are the World song. What's up, man? Okay. How's it going? Blake, nice to meet you. Let there be light on the darkest day. Let there be light. Yep. That's it. Let it ease your pain. Let it ease your pain. Being backstage at J-Book's first time playing at the North Shore. This is the very first time at North Shore, y'all. And going up the stage with Damon as he performs his first show as Nomad. <laughs> Starring in a music video. Okay, are ready? And action! And then directing a music video with big names like Kelly Who. Valley Driver's gonna pull gonna up. Later. You're gonna get in, you guys are just gonna hug. And getting to say it's a rap on a major film production. Can I say it? It's a wrap, I didn't say it's a wrap. Yeah. It's a wrap! It wasn't easy getting here. So I'm about to tell you how I have literally manifested everything that's happened to me to this day. It all started out by watching my first Logan Paul video with my buddy Peter. It was his 2016 recap video. My goal in life is at the end of every single year. After watching that video, I was like, wow, this guy's awesome. Like being a maverick, and that's what being a big kid, that's what being you, that's what my brand, BKR, was already. And I had this brand for almost four years already. So I was like, you know what? It's about time Blake gets his life back. It's about time he does something. So after watching that video with my homie Peter at work, I told him, yo, I'm gonna see this guy. I'm gonna see this guy soon. And, and guess what? One month later, but he's here. Everybody needs to take me back. Logan Paul flew me out to Hollywood. And I even got to tell my story to over 7 million people. And then he came out with the gun. What a lot of you don't know is how I made that happen. So being a big kid, being a maverick, I had to reach out to him in a different way. I had to do something totally different. I had to do something totally out of my comfort zone. So I went and drove down, living in Aspen, Colorado at the time. Drove down about three to four hours to this desert place you might know at Moab, Utah. I think Logan actually did an episode there. Good morning, Logan. What's poppin'? I put myself in the most uncomfortable situation. A situation where my therapist and everyone told me not to do. I was out of cell service. I was scaling cliffs hours away from any human being, uh, walking past rattlesnakes, camping by myself for multiple nights. So I took this photo right here that I posted on April 29th on my Instagram. So I found his email, emailed him the photo, and gave him a little breakdown about who I am. Logan told me this. He's like, yo, I never click on like this emails, you know, because he gets like 10,000, 1,000 emails every single day. But he told me he felt the need to click on my email. So he clicked on my email, saw the photo, went to my website, read the blog about me being held hostage, and then from there, we started talking. So it was time for me to go back home to Maui, Hawaii to visit for a few weeks for my birthday. So I flew there. On my 22nd birthday, I decided to start vlogging. Um, this is gonna be the first vlog, and I plan to do this every day, actually. Um, today I turned 22 years old. Ooh, yeah. 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 
Wishing you many, many more birthdays. And guess what else on my 22nd birthday happened? I got a text from Logan saying, Yo, what are you doing May 13th, May 14th, whatever it was. I was like, no, um, not much, dude. He's like, have you entered the Wide Open contest? He's like, yo, I'm gonna fly out to Hollywood. My birthday was on May 9th. I posted that photo on April 29th, and I was out in Hollywood on May 17th, May 16th, something like that. So literally within the month of telling my homie Peter, yo, I'm gonna see this guy soon, I was there. So I remember to my family before I left, that I wasn't going out there to fanboy out. I was gonna create an opportunity out of it. I was going there to learn. I was there to change life. So one night, Logan and I were just like talking about life and all of this. And he was like, yo, do you wanna tell your hostage story uh, to my audience? I think you can help people out. I was like, hell yeah, I do. So I told that story. That video now has over like 7 million views, I think. So coming back home, still having to go back to Aspen, Colorado for work. Uh, just getting accepted to University of Colorado Lee School of Business. I was going back to school. Uh, I had to rethink things. I had to reprioritize. Do I want to go back to school? Do I want to go back to my full-time job? Do I want to live in Colorado? What, what, what is it that I want? If I think about the end of life, will I regret not doing this or doing this? Like, so that's where my head was at. So as you all know, I literally called my dad. I had to tell him, I had to talk to him right away. He was eating at some bar, restaurant. I told him to come to the parking garage across the street and I sat him down and told him this. I have a once in a lifetime opportunity ahead of me, in front of me right here, um, to pursue something greater than that, something I could do more than with school. But with that said, it would require me dropping out of school. I see this thing's making you happy, and I want you to be happy. Yeah. And if this is something that's your calling right now. God, I'm, you got my 100% support. So I made that decision not to go back to school. A lot of people kind of hated on it. People were like, you got to go to school, like this, this, and this. YouTube doesn't do all of that. I knew what I was doing. I knew I was taking the opportunity in front of me, and I was literally going to create something with it. So I went back to Aspen, Colorado, quit my job, moved out of my apartment. Literally, I had everything made for me there. I lived in a hotel. I had two cars. I had a dirt bike. I had all the toys. I was like literally living the life in Aspen, Colorado. But within five days, I was out of there. Buy us an apartment. Back to Hawaii, I was visiting the island of Oahu at some point. My friend shared me this video with Passion Santos, one of the biggest social influencers out here in Hawaii. Uh, shared me this video, I was like, hey, I wanna do something with her. So I hit her up. Next day, while I was in Oahu, I was filming a prank video that has over like, I think 150,000 views on her Facebook. The next day after filming that video, she was like, yo, what are you doing uh, tomorrow? You wanna come up to this dope penthouse and be a part of our children's album? I was like, I don't sing, but sure, why not? Jesus, where, where are we going right now? We just went, I just hit PH on the elevator. Actually, someone escorted me up here. That's, that's, that's kind of new for me. Right. I have no idea what I'm getting myself this into. Is, this is BKR crib right now. <laughs> oh, I wish. <laughs> okay, this is crazy. I didn't just wish for it to be BKR cribs. I actually live in that penthouse right now. And this is how that happened. I created the challenge, as you all know, as the 30 day challenge. For the next 30 days, I'm gonna vlog nonstop. Every single day starting here, you're gonna see a vlog from me. I made that 30 day challenge specifically to show my hustles, to show my grind, so I could send a video of resume over to Jason Lett, who was the owner of that penthouse, who owns one of the biggest marketing ad agencies out there, who is with this team of just creative individuals. I made a six to seven minute video explaining why I deserve to be a part of that team. And of course I did it in a blank way, but here's a short clip of that. You guys are all on the penthouse level and that is a different kind of level. But to show you, I'm actually above the penthouse right now. I'm on a different level. And having me a part of your team, you will be and I can promise you, we will get on something on a different level because there is something higher than the penthouse, and that is the room. Jason told me he doesn't look at all his emails. He gets reached out to every single day. For some reason, he felt the need to click on my email, watch my video, 
Two days later, I had a conference call with all of them. Two days later after that, they flew me over to Oahu. I packed my bags for the weekend. And I'm happy to say right now, I live in that penthouse and I haven't left after two months. Literally where I live is insane. We're like 50 floors up, one of the tallest buildings in Oahu. My desk is facing like this amazing view. It's just crazy. I mean, look where I work. Literally right there with that here. Insane. I'm gonna introduce who I live with, uh, who is Jason Lett and Damon Elliott. Just real quick, Jason Lett used to be in the Bruno Mars uh, boy band, Disguise, along with he's a marketing genius, uh, built companies from the ground up within two million dollar companies within under a year. And Damon Elliott, who's one of the most successful music producers in the business. Uh, his mom is Dionne Warwick, auntie is Whitney Houston. Uh, he's produced for people like Beyonce, Maya, Kisha Cole, Pink. Now he's actually an artist and his song is number one. I guess who shot his uh, record uh, cover. Now my photo is the photo for his number one record, Take It All. Two weeks before flying over to Oahu, before I sent over my video resume to Jason Lent, no one knows this story. I was like, yo, I need a passport. I feel like I need a passport soon. This is legit. I even paid extra to have my passport rushed over to me. Even though I had no plans to travel in the future, my dad's like, why are you getting your passport? Why are you in a rush? I was like, yeah, I literally feel like I need this passport for something soon. I don't know why. I didn't have money to travel. I just knew I needed it for something. And then two weeks after that, I'm living in the penthouse in Oahu. Damon's like, yo, do you have a passport? I want to fly you over to London with me. All right, I think I got you going to LA and London. For real? Yeah. What's your passport and stuff, right? Yeah, I got everything. All right. Have really you flown out of the country before? I've never flown out of the country. Before flying over to London, we had to fly over to LA for like a week or so. While I was in LA, I hadn't seen my grandma on my mom's side in over five years. So I paid her her surprise visit while I was there. You look really good. Look absolutely beautiful, Grandma. <laughs> you do. Thank you. I'm... I really want my career to take off so I can like yeah. just provide for everyone. So yeah, that's what I'm working towards right now. And I'm like, I didn't no idea I was gonna be out in LA and then see you <laughs> especially. I didn't realize how much lost time was between us. So I also promised her like, hey, I want to see you for Thanksgiving. For some reason, if I'm I know I'm gonna be in London, but there might be a chance of me leaving early. If I come to LA, are you able to spend Thanksgiving with me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You'll be able to? Okay, I'm gonna try and make that happen. So you'll be in London? Yeah, I've never been out of the country yet. Boy. So on my way back from London, I got to see my grandma for Thanksgiving. So crazy for me because I've only had BKR vlogs for seven months. I mean, I've been doing BKR crew for over four years now. Uh, my whole hostage deal happened over a year ago. But in the past seven months, I've literally been able to take every single opportunity presented to me to get to where I'm at today. And I couldn't be more thankful for you all. I couldn't be thankful for all my family and friends. I couldn't be thankful for all the people over at AM Boulevard. Uh, I just, I literally just love you all. But when I say this, I wanna leave the video with this. You never truly know what is gonna happen in your life. You just gotta believe in yourself and believe in the decisions that you make. You truly do manifest your own destiny. And I also know that this is just the beginning. So when I invite you to subscribe to the BKR crew, join the movement, don't forget to share this video, I really ask you to. You manifest your own destiny and anything you want in life can happen. If you envision it in the future, you could totally make it happen. The opportunity is there, it is just up to you. Don't wait to go get it, get it now. You are amazing, you are unique, and if I was not being myself, if I wasn't this weird person in front of the camera, if I didn't decide to drop out of school, if I didn't decide to go take photos on the cliff and do all the things that have got me to me where I am today, I have no idea where I'd be. But I can say right now that it is just the beginning and it's about to change. It's about to be so lit fam. With that said, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. Did I just say that again? Subscribe and join the Beat Car Crew. And never forget to be you, be a big kid, and never grow up. Because why not? I will see you all super, super soon. Because it going to be lit fam. Shoot! Oh no. Red vlog like this. It's called vlogging, bro. It's called vlogging. Oh, yeah. oh. I love you so much, bro. Oh, I love you too. I love you so, so much. So great mm. to have somebody take care about you. Let there be light. Let there be light.